I want to uh, not see these in a plan view, but I do want to see them in 3D. So this is maybe a little more complex than it needed to be. The, the thing you need to realize is that when I made the array, it's like I made a, I made a group of the objects. So I need to say edit group, which puts me in editing mode for the array. I can pick on that shelf and now I can say visibility settings. So what I'm doing in here is I can go and say, you know, I don't want to see display in 3D views and not in plan reflected ceiling plan, but yes, when there's a front or back view. And I can say OK like that and then finish. So let me go down to, I just want to check that when I look at the rest of them, That they're all the same because it was all from the array from the uh, an arrayed object. They're all the same. They're all been changed. So this is maybe a good time to think about how this looks in the project. So the first thing I want to do is I want to save it and give it a name that means something. So if I go up here and and I, I'm going to do file save as a family, I'll put it in the uh, the folder and I'm just going to call it custom bookshelves. Okay, and then if I've only got one project open, remember if I do like control, uh, control and tab, I can switch between views so I can actually see whether I have my project open. There's my project. And if I go back here, if, I, if I've only got one project open, I won't get a, a choice of which project I'm loading it in. It just comes into the one that is open. If there were multiple projects open, it would give me a list and I'd put a checkbox beside the one I want to bring it in. So you see that if I, if I bring it in here and I place it, I told it that I didn't want to see it. And that's, how it that's why things could get confusing about... Uh, when you when you create these families, so I'm going to control tab back. The reason I'm not I'm seeing that geometry, I will see it in 3D, but I'm not seeing it in 2D. So I need to make another change here, or if I'm going to do it that way, I need to put into here. If I go back to my my home tab, I need to put into here an object that will let me uh, hide the pattern that's on the floor but only display in. So if I come down here to uh, annotate, what I really want is what's called a masking region. And a masking region can be very simple, but it's going to mask anything that's behind it. So this is a two-dimensional object. If I go masking region, I'm going to pick a, a rectangle like this. I'm just dropping it in there. And then what I'm going to do is say align it to the skeletal framework, oops, sorry, the skeletal framework that I created. So on the side, I want that. On the front, I want this. And on the right hand side, I want that. And lock it.